Before installing this module, you need to install another required module called Libraries API. Scroll down, under Dependencies, make sure you install Library module, version 2.0 and above, else you can't enable the Juicebox module. Let's install Library module. Scroll down, let's copy the link, back to our Drupal site. Let's go to module, install new module. Paste it here, install. Let's install the juice box module this time. Scroll down. Copy. Now before we turn on the module, we need also to download a copy of JavaScript library. So let's do it. Let's go to Juicebox official website again. Go to download. Scroll down. Now there are light and pro version here. You can see a difference here in the table. There's also maximum images per gallery for free copy. So you can download the free copy. I have downloaded and unzipped to the Drupal folder. Please do so. Now let's go to the Drupal folder, go to Sites, or Libraries. I have downloaded and unzipped the file here. Let's go in. There's one more same folder name. And the files are here. Now let's go back one level up. Let's rename this one to simply choose box. Let's copy this folder out, Control c or Command-C, back here, and paste it here. We don't need this anymore, can delete it. Now one more step to go, let's open this juice box folder again. Go to Adobe Lightroom plugin, further. You will see there's one folder called jvcore. Open this folder. Now you will need to copy all these files and folders here. Ctrl C or Command C. Let's back to juice box folder. We paste all the files and folders here. That's all. So let's double check our structure here. So we have libraries and we have juice box. Inside we have all the contents. We have also copied all the content of JB code and put it over here. All right. So let's go back to our Drupal site and turn on the module. Let's continue. Enable the modules. Search for juice box and library. Save the configuration. Now, once you enable the modules, let's go to reports, status report to check if the JavaScript library is connected correctly. Scroll down. Yep, it's in green. If it's not connected correctly, it will be highlighted in red and indicate that your library not found. All right, so let's go back to the front page. Now take note that I'm using the Bootstrap theme as I need a responsive website to best demo the responsive juice box gallery. You can use any of your responsive theme like Omega theme or Adaptive theme as you like. I believe they are the same. In this size, I'm using jQuery update module to upgrade my jQuery version. Basically, I'm using 1.9 for the front end and 1.7 for the back end. If you go back to Juicebox website, go to tour, Scroll down a bit. Now under jQuery compatible, it says Juicebox is built with jQuery and is compatible with all the versions of jQuery and other JavaScript frameworks. So no worry if you are using other version of jQuery. All right, it does support. Go back to our Drupal site. Now let's use the article content type as an example. Let's go to structure, content types, article, Manage fields. 
we are going to create a new field called photos to upload multiple images field type we we'll choose image save let's proceed go down file directory upload article slash photos so that our photos can be nicely organized and well kept in different folders maximum image resolution I will set to 1000 times 1000 scroll down I'll turn this on for caption and title scroll down if you have installed PR upload and some far few sources modules you should find this far source here I click on it you can turn this advanced upload visit on to upload multiple images it's time saver PR upload will allow you to upload multiple images instead of uploading one by one it takes some time to get it installed and set up so we won't go through here together however I have a video explaining on how to install the PR upload on the YouTube channel you can take a look oh, let's scroll down number of value was set to unlimited let's save the settings now let's add an article content add content article let's fill up title some description scroll down this will take it as a thumbnail we leave it alone these are new fields that we create for gallery photos so we'll click advanced upload scroll down let's add files let's select all the files here stop upload it's done so let's quickly fill up some description of this image as well as a title now I fill up all so scroll down and save the article so it shows all the images as it is alright now we have to turn this to a gallery let's go to structure content types article manage display I'll put the photos here make it hidden there's no need label but this one this time there's one more format called juice box gallery we can use this now there are some settings here let's click on the gear for main image style use perhaps juice box medium new style that's fine we'll use thumbnail caption source we use this odd text and title source we use image title text let's scroll down let's click on light configuration there's also configuration for the pro but this time we will use light version so you can see there's some configuration here you can set up you can set the background color or the text color or even the thumbnail frame color you can set it here further down there are a few more options you can set you can turn them on or off so we will leave it as it is first scroll down further and update now we will save it let's go and check out our content scroll down that's great Now we have title, caption. We can also turn off the thumbnail here. And we can open this image new window for downloading. Right? Let's go back. The best part is that we can turn it into a full screen gallery
Now let's close it. There's also other configuration you can do. You can check it out yourself. You let's go to this configuration. There are a few more things you can set it here. I will leave that as it is. You can turn on the multilingual options. There's also one interesting for Pro version that is multi size style. This means you can use different image style for different screen mode small mode, medium mode, or large mode. This is a really great feature. So if you get a pro version, you should be able to use this feature. All right. Let's proceed and explore the views this time in the next video.